Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolves. Today I'm going to be doing an on shape tutorial. I know it's a little different than from my Design Spark Mechanical tutorials, but I'm going to start incorporating more of the more of these. It's a pretty good program, and you can get it for, for free. So if you don't have it, the on shape program, what you want to do is go ahead and open up your browser, and you want to type in on shape. And then do go to the pricing one. And then you're going to scroll down in your browser to the one that says on shape plans and pricing. And make sure that you're on the actual on shape website. So we're going to go to here and then you just sign up here. It's just going to ask for your first name, last name, and email. But I'm not going to do that because I already I'm already uh, signed up. So so what I'm going to do now is once you've uh, put the uh, once you've uh, gone ahead and uh, put in your name, first name, last name, and email address, uh, it's going to be ready for you to log in. So you go to login, and then if you've logged in before, it's going to just open up the program. If you haven't, it's going to have your, your name and password, or your email and your password. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this spinning top right here. So we're going to go ahead and go to create, create a document. And then we'll just call this top. Go ahead and create public document. And then we want to click on this front plan. And then come over here to front, straighten it out. You can turn off the other planes if you don't want them. Just go ahead and hover over this uh, in the history here. And then just click on the, the hide and then the right one. And do that. Click on that one. So now you just have the this one here. So we're going to go ahead and go to sketch. And then we need to uh, click there on the front. And then you're going to come over here to this kind of a, I guess it's a little bit more than midway through. Insert DXF DWG. So you're going to click that down arrow. And then you're going to do insert image. And then you want to come down here to import. And then you want to click the import. You want to double click on the top. And then you want, once you click this here, this right here says select an, an, an imported image. Once you click on this, it's going to ask to draw an imported image. So we're going to click and draw. And then just make this, you know, pretty good size right there. Now we're going to go ahead and move this and uh, check the little green box there okay okay all right I guess this will work <clears throat> okay now we're gonna go back to sketch and then we're gonna go on the front plane Let's grab that line tool there. Now we're going to just start drawing. I guess you could come from the bottom. Let's just go straight up like this to there. And then I'm not going to worry about adding uh, fillets. We're going to do the fillets later. For right now, just don't worry about that. Just make these square. And then I'm going to make mine a little different. Don't want it to be exactly the same. Just go ahead and um, all right. <clears throat> I don't want this to be a complete point, so I'm going to make this a little bit of a, okay, there we go. All right, so this is going to be our shape. So we're going to go ahead and check that little arrow there, the green arrow. I'm going to select this piece here. 
Now we're going to come over here to this uh, second tab, which is Revolve. We're going to select the Revolve. Now um, on this little red area here, it says Revolve Access. We want to check there. So it becomes blue, and now we want to click here. And then do a check, click that check green check button. Now we have our, our, our part. Now we want to go ahead and spin this. To do that, you can use your mouse, right mouse click button. All right, now we're going to start adding fillets. So come over here to the fillets, this one right here with the rounded corner on it icon. Let's click that. And then I'm going to change this to two millimeters. And then we'll just see what two looks like. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, maybe four. So we'll go to four. Okay, four is better. All right, so let's go ahead and click these. And then go ahead and check, click that uh, green. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Four might be too much. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the fillet. Um, I guess we're going to have to do, let's try three. Okay. Let's do the top of these. Whenever you get that magenta color, it usually means that there's some, there's a problem. So go ahead and, uh, check. All right. Now let's go ahead and get your fillet tool again. And then we'll add a fillet here. And then go ahead and do the uh, check there. Check is just telling you that you're completed the, the action. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and spin that. Take a look at that. I don't need the uh, actual graphic anymore, so we're going to get rid of it. So let's go to uh, let's go to the sketch up here. Let's just right mouse click and say delete. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and round a few more areas. So go ahead and go to fill it. And then let's get that bottom one there. And let's get this one here. Go select. Let's go ahead and... Sp Actually, let's undo that. We didn't need to do that. Let's go spin this. All right. So this one, I want to put a little fillet in there so it's not so flat. So go to fill it. And let's try one. And then just click right there. All right, not too bad. All right, so let's go get the fillet again. And let's type in two. And then start doing some of these. And just remember to keep an eye out for that uh, magenta color. That means that there's either they, either your fillet is too big or there's a problem. All right, so we're going to go here now, get the fillets. We're going to put one in there, one there, and then one here like this. All right, not too bad. So what I'm going to do now, go ahead and uh, what you can do here if you want to colorize this is you can select parts of your uh, thing and then you do a right mouse click and you say or you check edit appearance up here. So now you're going to get these colors here. So you can do this. Um, let's. Let's give this kind of a reddish color, or actually maybe like a blue-green. Okay, 
So now when you're done, let's go ahead and go to the front view so it's straight. Um, you can hide this uh, front plane there. So now we can just see the actual top. Okay, so now what we want to do, uh, go ahead and click on the part there. So you want to come down here to part, and you want to right mouse click, and then um, this is, I'm trying to see where it was to do the save options. Uh, assign material, edit appearance. Okay, you want to go to export. Okay, so uh, with your with this part selected down here, you right mouse click, and then you want to do export. And then you want to uh, come up here to the formats, and you have these formats. You have uh, um, STL, you have an OBJ, you have Rhino, uh, SolidWorks, you have IGIS, uh, a step. I'll usually do the STL if I'm going to print this. And then um, you can keep all this stuff. I usually bump up the, uh, the resolution uh, to find. And then uh, go ahead and do export. And now it's going to put it over here in your downloads. So if you want to uh, get the file, you just go ahead and go open file. Actually, I didn't really want to do that. You have to go. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so once you click over here, you want to come over to your folder. Open up your folder and then minimize that by clicking that little arrow or that little line. And then just drag this over to your desktop. So this is going to be your file right here. And then we'll go ahead and close that. So now you can go ahead and open that up. Take a look at it. Okay, this is going to be our top that we created in Onshape. Didn't come out too bad. Uh, the only other thing I probably would do for this is let's go ahead and go to the file here. Um, I want to go ahead and maybe put a fillet in there if I can. Let's go to fillet. Let's uh, click and drag that so it's a little bit more round right there. And then also over here is has your radius. So maybe just 250, enter. And then you can do, there's also other, other op options. There's smooth fillet corners. There's a distance. Okay, and then check there. Okay, so now that's that's a smooth instead of that instead of that little uh, you know kind of blockiness. All right, so this would probably spin better if that was rounder, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. So we'll go ahead and go to the front. And then I need to save this again. So remember, we go over here, right mouse click. We're going to go to export. We're going to export this. You can change it. It doesn't have to be in this part studio one dash part one. You can you can give it another name. We can call this um, spinning top. And then we'll go uh, find and export. Okay, and now we need to get this one over here. So we'll go to the folder and minimize that. And then we'll drag the spinning top over here. And then we're going to get rid of this one. So select it, hit delete. And then we'll empty our trash can. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do is bring this into Rhino. I want to see if I can change different elements of the top. We'll go ahead and open up uh, Rhino. Go run without saving. We'll go double click there. Okay, let's click on it and come over here to explode. Let's see if this is going to make a difference. Okay, so I could probably change that and then that. Let's see if I can explode another time. No, it looks like only once. Okay, so let's. I want think I want to add this wood 
texture to here. So we're going to select that, come over here to the materials, go to the plus, and then select this import from material library. And then I want to do, um, I think I want to make a wood top, top part of that. So we'll just go to the wood folder and then we'll do this cashew polished and then we'll do right mouse click and then assign to object. And now I want to do this one kind of a metal. So we'll go, um, or maybe even a, a different color wood. So let's go import library. Let's scroll down. Let's go to the wood. And then we'll do like a light color wood here. And then we're going to go right mouse click, assign to objects at the top. Okay, now we're going to go to the view up here, come down to the ray trace. We'll see what this looks like. Yeah, that don't look too bad. Okay, now I want to I want to change that tip right there. Maybe make it a dark color wood. So we'll go right mouse click, assign. All right. Now we're going to come over here to the globe, the rendering globe. We're going to go to the solid color here. Click on the white, and then we're going to make it a dark gray. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then come over here and see what it looks like with the sun check run. Yeah, I'm going to leave it off. It's a little too bright. All right. That's going to be our top. So we're just going to let it render off for a little bit. Usually it takes, it goes to about a thousand ray trace cycles. Just don't do anything. If you make any changes while you're in this uh, ray trace mode, it's going to start over. So I typically only go to about mm, maybe 500, 400, 500. And then that's usually enough. So, and then I take my screen capture. Okay. So it's at 500. So we're going to do, um, window symbol, uh, shift and S at the same time. So all those three keys, and then we're going to drag a marquee around this, all right? Like that, let go. That's going to take a snippet, they call it. And then we're going to come over here, come up in the search areas, click, and then go to the paint. If paint's not loaded in there, just type in paint. And then we're going to do control V on the keyboard. V is in Victor. And then we're going to click here, this uh, crop tool. And then we're going to come up to file and do save as. Save it as a JPEG. Uh, select the desktop. And then we're going to type in uh, spinning top 2. And then as a JPEG. So save. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and close that and then close this one. Just say no. And then no, I don't want to update that. Okay, that's going to be the tutorial on how to create a spinning top in uh, on shape. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. Uh, let me go back to here. And as always, thank you for watching.